Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is day 19 of Whiskey Advent, The Average Drinker Advent. I am so freaking excited. Holy moly, how did we make it to 19 days already? Like, I do not want this to end. It's so much fun. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, for liking, subscribing, for commenting, for, you know what, just being you and taking the time out of your day to watch. So. I'm ready to do this one. I'm gonna pour this one. See what we got. Oh, that is, that is tight. That was tight. Whoa, it like kind of like popped a little bit. That was weird. It like sounded like shh, shh. You couldn't hear it, but I could definitely hear it. All right, let's pour this up. Got it in there. Save a little bit for later. Maybe I pour a little bit more to make sure I get a good nose on that one. All right, send this to the side. This one says sample B. Whatever that means, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm ready to do this. Cheers to you, thanks for being here. Ding. All right, so the color on this one looks pretty good. I don't know what that means, but the color looks good. It doesn't look super light, so here we go. I'm nervous, I'm always so nervous. Every time we do this, I get nervous because I'm waiting for something really bad to be in here. Granted, did have Wabash Reserve in here at one point. That's not good, but I'm like waiting for like a dickle or a malort or something just nasty and I haven't had it yet. So people have been pretty nice to me so far. So here we go. Without further ado, let's dive into day number 19. Oh, interesting. Yeah, on the nose, this one smells very young. It smells like a young rye. It's creamy. It doesn't have a lot of proof going on to it. It smells like vanillas, a little bit of like, like a little bit of brown sugar. It does smell young. It definitely smells like a rye, like right off the bat, like one of those really creamy, creamy ryes with a little bit of char in it. It might even be like a, a toasted rye. It smells real young. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like a toasted rye, like a little bit of marshmallow in it. Sorry, my face was itching. <laughs> a little bit of marshmallow, vanilla. Just, it smells like creamy, rich rye. That's what it smells like, a rye. It's very rye forward. All right, let's taste it and see what happens. Hmm. It's not bad. It definitely tastes to me like a toasted rye, for sure. It doesn't, it's not a lot going on with it though. Like it's like a little bit of creamy vanilla, like a little bit of spice intertwined in there. It's not overly hot, so it's like a lower proof. Let me take another sip. It does have some like marshmallow to it as well. Maybe a little toffee. Definitely a little toffee. This one is reminiscent to me of like a cream of Kentucky, but it tastes a lot better than the cream of Kentucky I have at my house, if that makes sense. I don't know though. It's just, to me, it's definitely a rye. It's definitely not like a super high proof. Ah, now I'm gonna take, take, take another sip. I do like the toffee that I'm getting on this one. Toffee char it's a really nice char this is like a toasted rye for sure toasted rye i like it i like the toffee on the back of it it's really not like the finish is really nice i definitely prefer the finish like even a little bit of coffee which is is good i'm gonna say that this one is like around 104 proof. Yeah, 104 proof. The more I drink of it, the more I actually like it. Like the nose on it, super, I don't like. Like it's grassy, like yeah, it smells young and grassy and like, but super, it's got some nice rye notes in it. But then when I taste it, like my first initial thought was like, I'm not sure what I think of that. And then the more I sip on it, the better it kind of gets to me. Yeah, I don't actually mind it. Would I buy this? 
I don't think so because I'm really wishy-washy on it. I just not, it's not my favorite thing I've ever had, but also like I do enjoy some of the notes that I find in this. Like I do enjoy that toffee, a little bit of coffee on the back end of it. It has a really nice finish, a little bit of like cinnamon. Um, yeah, I really like that toffee note though. That toffee note is really good. Um, but overall, I don't think I would buy it. One more sip. I'm gonna go, yeah, 104 proof. I think this is like a toasted rye, 104 proof. Could be like an MGP toasted rye, but I'm not for sure. So there you have it, that's my guess. Now let's figure out how bad I am. Here we go. Let's open this beautiful little envelope in here. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> okay. So this one comes from Clicker69. Thank you so much to patron Clicker69. Uh, this is, I, <laughs> I said rye, definitely was wrong about the rye. This is an Elijah Craig toasted barrel, 94 proof. It's at 104 proof, so it's 10 off. I did say toasted, but I was getting more of like a toasted rye, like super toasted rye than I was a toasted bourbon. So Elijah Craig toasted barrel, interesting. I do like that one. I think there are definitely other toasted bourbons that I prefer over that, uh, definitely. I like, I really love like Sagamore. Uh, well, that's a rye, that's a rye. But I like, there's other like, the Peerless Double Oaked Bourbon is really, really good, and I love that one. Um, so there are definitely other ones that I prefer over this, but overall, not too bad. I said I wouldn't buy it, got one on the shelf, and I said I'm not gonna buy another of. Like, I think that's one that's kind of collecting dust on her shelf. Don't really reach for it very often, so yeah, there you have it. So I was a little bit off, obviously. I didn't do great today, but I knew it was toasted. I just couldn't figure out. I, I was for sure that I was a toasted rye. So there you have it. Thank you so much for the sample, Clicker69. Really appreciate it. Uh, that was fun. Like you did trick me up a little bit. So there you have it. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back with day 20 tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's almost the end. Please don't make it end. I don't want it to end. Anyhow, thank you so much. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.